By an object relations theory, we're not thinking about drives as the basis for human motivation. We're thinking about the infant's need, yes, so the other, the object is the other that fulfills the needs, but it's the need not for tension release, not for meeting sexual drives or aggressive instincts, but the other who will provide two important things. Number one, context, and number two, focus. What do you mean by context and focus? Yeah. Well, yeah. context is that arms around holding relationship oh. that the mother provides for the baby, a, a relationship of security yeah. in which the baby can go on being in a relaxed way. And secondly, focus means that direct eye-to-eye -eye relationship that she offers in which the infant learns to do, relate, experience, and then think about the and experience. And even look for approval and so forth by looking at that. Well, in that context and focus, together, the mother or mothering person, be it housekeeper, babysitter, father, father mm -hmm. sibling, aunt, grandparent, whoever, is offering the child attachment, an attachment relationship, one in which the child will experience meaning. Mm. Okay. It kind of leads us into the demonstration we'll be moving towards in a few minutes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Are there particular things we should be watching for in this? This is um, you working with Phil. <coughs> okay. And, um, are there, you know, how, how did you see your role in this and what, what should we be looking for as we watch this video? Well, watch for context, <coughs> watch for focus. Uh, mm -hmm. And for the purpose of the discussion, I'd particularly like to talk about how you felt in response to Phil. And I'll, we'll talk about how I felt in response oh, okay. to Phil. And that'll be my guiding path. I'm, I'm thinking in terms of my counter-transference, my reaction to his personality, his material, his way of talking, his way of relating to me, as giving me evidence to work with him on his internal life. Uh, so, so I look for the way that he deals with me. How comfortable does he seem to be with me? How tuned into me is he? How withholding of parts of himself is he? Uh, mm -hmm. Does he seem to regard me as a re-edition of an old figure in his life? Or am I free of those burdens? Uh, how open is he? How, how does he use his symptoms? Does mm -hmm. he use them to exclude me or to draw me in, throw me off mm -hmm. the track, or, or help me understand him?